Welcome back everyone. Let's play The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Um, I decided to wait and actually I fast traveled over here to Salvius Farm and then I'm going to head over here to Karspire. So, here we go. Took care of selling a bunch of stuff and When I got here, it was night, so I uh, decided to wait. I decided that what I'm going to try is actually using this ward. Um, I've never used one, really. I'm not big on blocking. If necessary, I'll, I'll go back to the candlelight. It seems to be uh, something I need more often than not. So I've been over in this region of the uh, country before, a few times, Markrath I was doing, uh, oh, that's right, there was a Daedric quest here that is totally screwed up. I think I screwed up. Yeah, like I, I set the guy on fire or something and I was supposed to uh, use a rusty mace to beat him in submission. I don't know. So it looks like I won't be getting the uh, Daedric quest or uh, achievement where you collect all 15 Daedric items. I shouldn't have done this. My swimming sucks, especially in heavy, uh, heavy armor. I think pretty much everything I'm wearing is steel. So these are just goats. I'm not too worried about them because... Oh! Hey! No! Dang it. That was one of those uh, crab things. I think their chitins are good for... However you pronounce it. It is good for something with alchemy. I don't remember what... This another named one. Oh hey. A blood dragon. Oops, that was terrible aim there. These are the ones that have uh, more health. Oh, a little bit of latency there, or lag, or whatever the hell you want. Getting all sorts of dragon souls now. Oh, it turns out that name dragon, uh, the one that I killed in the last part. He was actually one of the dragons that uh, Alduin uh, woke up from one of the uh, uh, dragon mounds. I, I know that because I 
There was a dragon mound just down the hill from him. And it was empty. So Skyhaven. Actually, I have been up there in one of my characters. I think it was my archer, but I'm not sure. Well, lady, I'm not, I'm not really sure how to get up there. Yeah, we'll take some time out to loot while all the fight's going on around us. We need to get up there. You may need some help, but I'm not going to help you. Water breathing, cool. Though I must say, I don't see that being particularly... Boom! <laughs> I don't see it being particularly helpful. Whoa! Because I don't spend a whole lot of time in the water. Wow, a hag raven. Interesting. They've got all sorts of... I'm in a bit of trouble here. Whoa, hey. I'm warning you. That's close enough. Where's the other dude at? I'm in a bit of trouble. I'm healing you. Let's get this over with. Oh, got a spike through the leg. That was pretty brutal. Do apologize about that. <laughs> Though that was interesting seeing myself flail through the air helplessly. I looked down at my health and I was like, oh, I might need to take a look at that, but first let me throw this fireball. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is starting to look familiar. Good grief. And then I'm gonna have to fight the blood dragon again. So actually Hmm. Oh, I wish I had an editing tool that could edit these raw files. As it is with the way my system's going, um, I'm actually having to record on my desktop computer because it's the one with the Hapage uh, capture card. And then I'm actually having to save the files onto an external hard drive and copy from the external hard drive over to my laptop to upload because for some freaking reason, using YouTube and uploading a video causes my desktop to freeze right now. I'm not sure what piece of hardware is having the issue. I have gone through and swapped out virtually. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Oh, is this a completely different quest? I told you it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well connected merchant with the East Empire.
Anyways, uh, continuing on. Um, just my desktop w won't upload for some reason. I also can't play certain video games on my desktop because it will just flat out total system freeze. Um, I've swapped out every single piece of hardware except for the motherboard and CPU. I can get it to consistently freeze doing two or three different activities and I just don't understand what would be causing the freezing. I do have something else I'm going to try uh, which is uh, disabling my Wi-Fi card. Though that's not preferred uh, considering most of my well, all my internet activity is spread out, and I'm not able to actually uh, run a hide hardwired cable. Oh, he almost turned into it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Is that thing surfing? Where'd the dragon go? That's what I'm curious. No. Oh, there it is. Go figure. Start asking about it and it shows up. That does not sound good. I'm sitting here trying to create a moving target. Oops. Oh, come on. How much magic does it take?
close. Ah, <sighs> good grief. I still want to know where the heck is that dragon thing left. I'm disappointed. Oh my goodness, it's king size king. <laughs> uh, I, I suppose we gotta go up this hill here. Um, nope, not the interest. Here we go. So far so good. The block skill, is that a uh, dragon shield? I think that is. That thing looks pretty sick. I think that's a dragon bone one. I'm not sure though. Uh, they have both the dragon bone and dragon sca scale. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I almost hit him. Oh, crap. I saw that just too late. Alright. I can't really see very well in here. As is typical. This egg does something. I don't know what carries root, but it does something. I'm going to do the uh, Thieves Guild quest, but I'm going to do those on my assassin character. He's really good at sneaking. I think his sneaking's around uh These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes. These are Akaviri symbols. Now let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior. And of course the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing down. So wait. Oh, what am I looking for? If you say so. That all the same? We need a candle here. They're all the same. Uh 
Okay, so... Now let's... Okay, I, I don't know what they want me to look for, so let me take a closer look at these pillars. So it was supposed to seal against the Dragonborn, so try turning them all to that symbol. Uh-oh. Floor pressure switches. Okay, so I think I need shut up. I need to walk on all the dragonborn ones. Yes, yes, I've heard you. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. There was a pull switch here. I'm sorry. So I figured out the the whole puzzle, except for the pull chain. God, that's ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Looks like we may have a surprise in store for us here. Oh, that's good. I'm going to take that just to learn that enchant off of it. I'm going to take that because it's rare. Remarkably well preserved. See how the ancient blades revered Raymond Cyrodiil. What are you saying? Alduin isn't getting any weaker while we stand around here gawping. And blah blah blah. This whole place we appears to be a shrine to Raymond. He ended the Akaviri invasion. Well. 
Uh, how do they want me to? This was the foundation stone of the Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is really cool. I uh, actually should just like cut here. <laughs> Cliffhanger moment. It's really dark. Thanks to my candle, it helps though. So this is supposed to be Alduin's wall. Oh, this is the wall from the uh, the trailer. This wall is so cool. I got the uh, collector's edition of this game. And I have a replica of Alduin's wall with Alduin on top of it. Arr. Well, it's a dragon wall. I don't know if it's necessarily his wall. Considering in game his is. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is his wall. Well, I've never seen a final example of early Second Era Kabiri sculpture. So I'm going to cut after this little bit. Look, here is Alduin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time. Okay. And Alduin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against the dragon overlord, the legendary dragon war. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that wrong? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. Thin. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? No. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Oh. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Hmm. Difficult. 
this choice is. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here, the third man. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Yeah, they now look like katanas. Their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Well, there's one more thing that I want to do before I actually cut this part short. Uh, I'm sitting just over half an hour. Crap. That's okay, I wanted to run up these stairs and see if there's anything else up here. Uh. Gold. Horse hide, we can use that. Make some leather. Right, I can't set that on fire. I brighten this place up a little. Snow bear pelt. Plenty of leather type items here. Pelts and hides. And I don't need kettles. Uh, this was not the location I was looking to find. But there's some stuff here so I'm gonna continue on I do apologize I keep on turning my head I'm sitting at an angle from the screen so I turn my head to, to watch the screen and end up not talking directly into the microphone but hopefully you guys can hear me well enough Open Skyrim. Alright. Well, we'll do that, and while this is loading, I'm going to cut. Thank you for watching. Tune to the next part.